Hey, Radio Horror YouTube fans, this is Dr. Chris talking about another art book. Last time we did one was a long, long time ago. We did the Thing art book for the, um, the, the, the studio that put out the Thing art book. They also just put out the Stranger Things art book as well. But uh, this is The Art of Dead Space by Titan Books. Came out in 2012, 2013. And even though the Dead Space video game franchise has died, I know that's a terrible joke, but uh, this came out around the time of the third video game, and I, I was so excited to see some of the artwork in this thing, and it's absolutely gorgeous and terrifying at the same time. Some of the credits in here. It's really sad that we don't have any more Dead Space games coming, and again, the last one was in 2013. Um, the studio that made it was kind of went under, I guess. Uh, there's a whole history about it online, but we're not going to discuss about what happened in Dead Space. I just hope it comes back one day. But I wanted to showcase this amazing collection of uh, the behind-the-scenes look at a lot of what we saw in those four games because there are three games uh the main series and then of course the prequel that was out on the wii u plus a couple animated films books comics and one action figure one or two action figures this is of course what isaac's armor looks like in the second dead space game I was first introduced to this, like everyone else, with that one trailer way back in 2000 and I want to say 2008, and then I bought an Xbox 360, and it was the first game I had to buy for it. I had seen the animated film, I had read the comic book with artwork by Ben Templesmith, who you might know from 30 Days of Night, and I was hooked immediately. I was scared shitless when I saw this game and I played it. I had never played a game that actually scared the crap out of me and I didn't want to play it uh, except for on a Sunday on a bright sunny day. It uh, creeped the hell out of me that much and it, honestly it became my favorite video game series of all time rivaling um, sorry my second favorite video game series of all time rivaling even that of Resident Evil. Resident Evil I thought had gotten really stale. That fifth Resident Evil game had just come out and I did not like it nearly as much as Dead Space. And all it took was that one Dead Space game, and I got the prequel to Dead Space, and I immediately fell in love. There, of course, is the uh, the monolith. It causes the, the necromorphs. All the various designs for it, too, which is really cool. The Church of Unitology, very, very creepy. I mean, the mass suicides that happen in this game are just as terrifying as uh, people turning into necromorphs. Here is one of the necromorphs. It's a behind the scene concept art. I mean, just look at that. The head opening up with the mandibles and the spinal cord hanging down. Oh, it's just unbelievable. And I remember they were talking about like doing, a, of course, a uh, Dead Space movie. That never happened. I'm hoping somebody can just pick up this license sometime and just make another game and make it as great as the first two. The third one is when it went co-op and became so much more action-adventure oriented. But they left this dangling plot thread. Oh, just look at that. Disgusting and beautiful at the same time. I don't know if this is still available on the Titan website, but uh, I mean, you can easily find this probably on Amazon or eBay or Barnes and Noble or at any, uh, maybe, you know, go to your local used bookstore and support an independent bookstore. Maybe they got a copy of it in the art section. I found a copy of this at a local used bookstore here in Massachusetts once. And I was really shocked. Look at that. Oh, of course, this is now the ship's. Through all the different character designs. This is the Sprawl. This is the original ship from the first Dead Space. Jeez, just look at that. All that uh, cool fake ads that they had in the cult, you know, in Dead Space. All the little cartoons and commercials and 
stuff they were advertising. This book is massive too. This is a very tall art book. This is like a coffee table style art book that you see people have. Definitely reminds me of Giger in a way. And this artwork is from, um, I believe, just the three Dead Space games. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, definitely got that Giger feel to it. And, of course, a lot of people compare Dead Space to Alien. I mean, it's space. It's sci-fi. Event Horizon also has been compared with this. And this is images from the graphic novel, which I absolutely adore. There's been a couple, there was a couple graphic novels, not just one by Ben Templesmith, but uh, there were a few. I love the ink blots, the terrifying images from the ink blots. If you're a fan of Dead Space and you never picked up this book, I highly recommend it. Check out the rest of the videos here on the Radio Horror YouTube channel. Thank you, everybody. Like, subscribe, and comment. And, uh, you know, if you can find the Dead Space games and you've never played them, please go get them on uh, Secondary Hand Market. They are a lot of fun and uh, definitely will give you some nightmares.